The stock Palo Alto Networks, ticker symbol P-A-N-W, is the stock I've been keeping my eye on. Guys, this stock has pulled back quite a bit from its previous highs up at $380 just about a month ago. Pulled back off of earnings, 260 area, bounced and then pulled back yet again to a very, very good support level around 280 I think that this is a great buy at this price, and we're going to dive deep into why I believe so. We're looking at the stock over the past year, and it's been a strong year for the stock, okay? We've had quarter after quarter, very good reports, and even this quarterly report for quarter two was better than expected, okay? And we're going to dive deep into why the stock fell off of this earnings and what that means for the future of the stock. But let's bring it back into the stock price. The stock has jumped from about $140 at the beginning of this past year all the way up to $380, okay? The stock yet pulled back off of earnings, recovered from that quick bounce, as you can see here. But like any type of overreaction, there's another overreaction correction to the downside. So because of that, the stock pulled back again to around this 270 280 area where I'm looking to pick up some shares of this stock, okay? Now, this is a uh, cybersecurity type of play, and looking into Palo Alto, the stock fell on this day, specifically earnings, because of the fact that it was quarter three and full year of 2024 outlook that have investors worried. It's not necessarily what they reported for quarter two on this day, it's what they're reporting for the future and what their estimates are. Which makes me believe that there is a strong possibility that even though the estimates are not as high as we would like to, them to be, we can still outperform. There's still a possibility. And can you imagine the reaction we had here just by estimating below where we want to be? Can you imagine if we actually outperform from where we want to be? I mean, these next couple of months are obviously going to be really important for Palo Alto, and the next quarterly earnings is going to be very important for the stock price. But... If this is the reaction we got just by looking forward into the future, can you imagine what would happen to the stock if we actually report strong quarter three and full year guidance ahead of where we're expected to be? So just throwing out some numbers for you guys. The Paul Alto expected uh, earnings per share price range of $1.24 to $1.26 for quarter three. So they're estimating $1.24 to $1.26, where Wall Street's estimate is $1.29. So they're estimated lower than what Wall Street's projecting. And also same with revenue guidance, they're projecting $1.95 billion to $1.98 billion, where Wall Street is looking at $2.04 billion. So not a huge difference, but enough for the stock to take a fall like any other big company, it's big tech stock, tends to dive anytime there's any type of slight negativity in the air. So looking at the stock at the price, I like the price we're at right now. I'm going to pull this right here. I like, I mean, look, we're, we're hot right now. The stock itself is hot, but this pullback here off of 380 and looking at 380 down to lows up here, let me pull this for you guys so you guys can see. 380 down to lows at around 258. We were down 31%. Okay. And then we bounced a good bit. We bounced about 15, 20% and then pulled back down. We are still off of all time highs. We're about 25% off of all time highs. Now, that doesn't change the fact that we have ran from the start of this year all the way up until now about 115%. But quarter after quarter after quarter after quarter after quarter have been strong numbers and strong outlooks up until this second quarter that we just reported looking into quarter three down the line in later may early june time frame where we're reporting not as we're looking to report not as well as we have been but like i said things can definitely turn around um, they are looking for uh, fiscal 2024 year earnings per share to be between 5.45 and 5.55, which is also below the estimate of 5.51, which Wall Street's looking at. And then uh, revenue guidance, $7.95 billion to $8 billion versus the analysts of $8.19 billion. So that is a little bit larger of a scale um, being off by uh, uh, their earnings per share and their revenue guidance for year over year, their fiscal 2024 outlook. But overall, I think that this is a great buy-in opportunity, and here's the plan. Here's the execution, what we're going to be doing with this stock. 
Okay, so if we pull up this circle tool right here and just look around 275, let's say we buy our for 280 bucks. Let's say 280 is our first lump sum of shares. We buy some shares here at 280. I think we have support obviously down here. Easy support is this 260 area. We have easy support right here only because this is technically the lowest bounce that we've had off of the major drop. So we can draw a line right here on this 260 area just to confirm that. And then also we can take a nice resistance point right here on 318, 320. Um, you can see there's a lot of resistance here, some resistance that we broke through here, and some resistance that we double tapped here that caused us to fall. So now we have this nice sideways pattern. Also now we're forming these uh, triangular, almost it's a squeeze. So the stock pulled back here, bounced off of this support, bounced back off of this resistance line right here, and now is squeezing in between. And that's what caused this little tiny formation of tiny candlesticks. So we didn't surge one way or surge the other way. And this tends to happen after the stock bubbles up for a little bit and then takes off either one way or another way. Now, looking at this, I say that if the stock pulls back more towards the support line this 260 area we buy more i think another buying point is down anything below 270 so we buy some at 280 if it drops below 270 to around two i would say 250 anywhere in this oops anywhere in this region down here around the support area is strong I think that we can buy some more shares. Again, we're looking for the longer term. We're looking six months to a year, even a year plus to take some profits before we start to see some really strong profits. Um, but looking ahead at Palo Alto, if it does fall more to this 250, 260 area, we watch it for support, we pick up some shares. Now, we aren't afraid of it falling past the support. It can very well do that because of the fact that we're looking longer term. So we got to remember to ourselves, where's another area of support that we got to build a watch in case something happens? And that would be right here where we see a lot of support from the past that will allow us to use that as a key technical area which is around this 235 to 240. So again, we watch this area, we see if we can try and hold. So then now if we fall into this area, we're in another bracket where we have to see if we can hold this support right here, resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance broke through. Again, that's only if we fall this way. If we move up to the top, then I want to see this stock surge up to around 315, 320, break through 320, and if we are able to hit 320 and pull back, but continue to hold above this point right here at 280, we would then now condense our sideways formation into a stronger and tighter knit formation allowing us to understand that this is the stronger support and the stronger resistance but because of the fact that we hit it and fell back down but we're strong enough to support down here it creates this actually as a weaker resistance because now if we attempt to break through again there's a stronger uh, possibility such as this right here we could see that it we had a strong attempt, double tapped this resistance. Resistance then caused us to fall to support. Support caused us to have a massive run up and surge through that resistance. And once we broke resistance, this was our new support area. Wasn't support for long once we fell through, but this is a different story because you're talking about earnings and after hours and weird timing like that. But honestly, if you want to really look into this, you say to yourself, look, if this can hold this 280, bounce up, bounce off 318, 320, then you want to pick up more shares because you know that this thing's going to take off. Anywhere in this area right here is a strong area where I could say, look, at, if it, we bounced off here support, bounced off resistance, bounced back off support, you could buy shares in the middle here on this 300, 305 area. You're still well off of where all-time highs are up here at 380, which was allows us to then surge higher and break through this resistance area. And again, once we break through this resistance, this becomes support. So anytime that there's support that holds, it's considered support. But if you fall through support, that becomes new resistance. The opposite is the same thing on the other side. This is resistance. 
if you hit resistance, it's still resistance. But if you hit resistance and break through resistance, then resistance becomes new support and then we hold that. And if you can hold it, then it's now support and you continue move forward. So, okay, this was a lot longer of a video and I kind of broke down a little bit uh, too in depth potentially uh, with support resistance and what I'm looking at. But this is, is, is seriously, I mean, take, take this into consideration and with a grain of salt, we just had a massive pullback and a massive rebound bounce. I mean, you're talking 40, 50 dollars in a day where this thing's moving back and forth. But let's let's take this with a grain of salt and use this moving forward that this is a good buying opportunity for the long term for a strong stock. We're just using technical analysis to break this down and to see what can happen with it. And uh, I like the odds that this thing does continue to move higher. Um, not maybe in the next couple of days or next couple of weeks, but eventually we're going to trade sideways where we're either going to fall to the downside when we pick up more shares or we're going to bounce to the upside, see some rejection, pull back down, and then we buy more shares because this thing's going to rock it. And once we basically break out of this area right here on this 320, 325 even, I mean, it, you don't have resistance for a while. You're pretty set until you get back up to about 370, um, which gives us a lot of room up here, and then 380, which are all-time highs. So obviously, big gap right here big gap above us right now we got to see which direction this stock holds it could fall down to the downside and we test these lower resistance or support points but we'll have to see and uh, find out but guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about palo alto ticker symbol p a n w i know this is a longer video but hopefully this technical analysis breakdown was a little bit helpful for you guys if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more content and i will see you guys in the next video peace out everybody